Seika! I hope that was on key. Well, you know, as on key as I get. Storm sales curve. Howdy, y'all. I decided to come back a little early. It's the summer of Roundy. I'm round the wheel. I'm back, baby. Trottlers. Trottlers is the Super Nintendo puzzle game that I picked after I spun the wheel. Uh, looks like it's created by A to D Design. A Todd. Developed by the Sales Curve. You know, that is a name for a video game company right there. I know if I was making a video game company and I was trying to come up with a name and I was asking myself, hmm, what's a name that says I have the best interests of video games at heart? I got it. Sales Curve. Sales Curve made Trottlers. This is kind of a little Lemmings-like kind of game. So it's, you know, it's way up my alley for those of you who know what I have done and made in the past, uh, the kinds of games I have played on here. Trottlers is very much in that mode. Uh, and I have been curious about it for a long time. That's one of the nice things about the wheel. I spin a space on the wheel and sometimes it gives me a chance to play something uh, that I have been thinking about for a long time, but never got to. This looks like a solo level right here. That's what we'll be playing. We'll be playing the solo mode because there are a lot of two player levels in Trottlers. I think Trottlers technically has 175 levels in it, but we're only going to be playing a little over 100 of them. There are 100 solo levels. So let's go to it. That's taking us back to the title screen, I think. So it's a good as time as any to actually choose a mode. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to start directly with solo mode. I'm going to go to training mode. We've got team mode here and war. These little faceless wizards here, uh, I believe from reading the manual, they are named Hocus and Pocus. We will play as Hocus in the blue robe. And if we had a second player, that second player would be Pocus. And together, they make Hocus Pocus, a movie that many of my generation seem to be convinced is good. I've never really gotten it. But I do like that they have they have pretty nice sneakers for Wizards Apprentices. Apparently that is the plot of the game. You are Wizards Apprentices who have to clean up the Wizards' various rooms. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and train just to make sure we have everything we need to go. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Train mode. So we are in train mode, which means we're going to be solving puzzles while riding on a train. Uh... And I am using the Super Nintendo mouse. This is the first game I have ever played, other than Mario Paint, that uses the Super Nintendo mouse. So that's also a first for me. So we are on mission zero of training. We're going to learn how to play the game. Suddenly, Hocus and Pocus have faces. Uh, and their mission is to remove it. Remove it. Pull it. Twist it. Squeeze it. Fetch one red gem. One gym in all three of the colors. So let's see what we're doing here. Um, this is a great song. I have this on my video game bangers playlist. All right, remove it. So let's see. We we move wherever the thing clicks. Okay. This is the left button I'm clicking. Clicking on this. Right button. Right button removes it. Okay. So it's kind of like fire and ice on Super Nintendo, but with a mouse. I can pick up a block, presumably remove it. So, let's see here. One level down. We did it. Next password level is BRRW. For Burrow. Presumably stands for Burrow. Oh, they make the passwords easy to remember. You remember what level you're going to. So, we're going to be burrowing now. Um, you know how it goes. Just dig. Just Dig is the second level here. So we got this. All right. Can't pick up any more blocks because our meter over here to the right, I can't uh, I can't actually move over to it. I can only stay in the field of view here. But our meter to the right is filled up with blocks. So if we put one down here, yeah, our meter just went down. So we can only carry so many blocks. I assume the green meter is just going to be us... I imagine if there was a blue player playing as Pocus, they would be, their blue meter would be full of blocks. Oh yeah, so here we go. 
All right, so just move forward. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, friend. Catch a bubble. Here we go. Okay. Let's grab it, and now we can grab the gems. Yay! Those, uh, those fireworks are kind of sputtery. It looks like they're, like, spilling downward rather than streaming upward. Next level password, extrament. Okay, I can't actually see a counter anywhere. I just have to trust that things are highlighted when I click on them. So I might accidentally click main menu at some point. Uh, terminate all foes. Mission 2, exterminate. So, while we're here exterminating our foes, um, just want to talk a little bit. I am pretty surprised that... Uh, okay, so we have foes here. But I just want to talk a little bit while we're running around with all our foes on the screen, which can't hurt me, it looks like. Um, thank you to everybody who watched the coming back announcement video. I decided, you know, there was such nice response to it, why not keep the momentum going? So that's why we're here recording today. Um, instead of waiting three weeks to do it. Like, why not Why not take the groundswell of momentum that I got? Uh, were they just over there, like, snacking on my head? Or what were they doing? Was my guy snoring? But yeah, thank you to everyone who watched the video. I thought maybe a hundred people would, you know, watch it. And a few would come back and be like, oh, hey, Roundy's back. But there are people out here that have never heard of me that are saying, oh, hey, don't know who you are, but nice story, bro. It's very inspiring, very amazing. And I'm like, thank you. Stick around. There will be video games, um, but we need to wake this guy up. We have plenty of time to beat this level, it looks like, but we need to wake this guy up. So how are we going to... Let's see, we have to exterminate our foes. We've got a few blocks down here. I assume it's just a matter of putting them on top of... So yeah, it looks like... So yeah, it looks like if you just form a block on top of them... There we go. Yeah, that's... Oh, did I... What did I do? Oh. Um, oh, I clicked my cursor on top of my guy. Okay. So, okay. I guess that pauses the game. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, yeah. Okay. You can take out enemies by magicking blocks on top of them. There we go. And they can't actually hurt me. So, are they really foes? Hard to say. I can't really think of anything as an enemy that can't actually hurt me. Next level password, shut or shvut. Shvuts. You got a little shvuts on your face there. What have we got? Shove it. Wow. Mission three and we're already quitting on the wizard. Wizard, you can take this job and shove it. This is so boring. Why does he have the book behind his back? Is he hiding something from us? Fetch four green gems. Fetch this. Sort this. Deliver that. I'll make them all pay. Alright, so I guess we're going to be walking up to this rock. Uh, um, how do I... Okay, just clicking on the rock shoves it. Okay. But not too far. Just... Okay, yeah. So going right up on the rock shoves it. You drop a rock on top of a rock. It breaks open. And it makes lovely little gems. That's how the gem creation process goes in real life. I like how there's just little debris raining down from the fireworks. It makes them look like duds. <laughs> Next level password. Clambake. That's probably what that level is going to be called. Oh no, it's climb up. Okay. They look like little vanity plates. One of each color. So we're going to be climbing up. Apparently. Apparently. Okay. Climb up. Okay. So I guess I can do this just however I want. So what's the best way to do this? Let's. All right. Let's just grab blocks. Okay. You can grab. You can grab blocks like a certain distance out from you. I remember seeing that in the manual. It's like you could. You can grab blocks like two spaces out from you. And like I think. Okay, um, wake up, bro. Okay, I can only... Okay, I can only grab a block directly below me, but I can grab one as far as, like... Well, sometimes. Two spaces away from me. Oh, if there's nothing between me and that other block. Okay, so why don't we just grab all the blocks we can? Uh, let's... Yeah, let's... Okay. 
So I cannot grab that block. But I can get up here and grab it. Okay, we got a full meter. So let's let's uh let's just build our way to the top. So mouse mouse movement. Everything is controlled by the mouse. I'm moving by clicking the mouse. I'm clicking up here, uh, and I believe I can also like jump at least one section over. So I can jump wherever my happy little butt wants to as long as it's two or fewer spaces away not a video game character that has as they call them the ups here we go that was pretty simple just a matter of climbing now use miners and climbers so that's how we do it next level password falcon crunch Let's do it. We're training very well so far. We're doing very well. Oh, faux crunch. So this is yet another way to take out little tiny guys that walk in every direction and don't actually do anything bad. So to demonstrate what this level wants to tell us, we're just going to drop a rock on this innocent little creature's head. This is making me feel a little bad, honestly. This game has got a lot of Amiga DNA in it. It was for Super Nintendo, Amiga, and I think some other system. But it's got a lot of Amiga DNA in it. One thing you see a lot in Amiga games, and it's very weird, <laughs> is like just senselessly killing small creatures for no reason. I think Amiga developers were like only children. So, let's see. New password. Shelves. Shalavs shivs we're gonna we're gonna shiv these little creatures we're gonna fashion a makeshift weapon and and shiv the foes mission sh mi miss mit mission shicks shells fetch two red gyms fetch the gyms so here we go all right what are we doing this is a cute little game so far okay so okay yeah you as long as there is like as long as it's two away, you can also hop up a level. So this is literally just walking to the... Okay, yeah, here we go. That was pretty dang simple. That's just demonstrating movement. Okay, here we go. All right. Demonstrating legal forms of movement. I guess that's going to be important in this game. Next level password. Staggered. We're going to be staggering. This is the part of the game where we get wasted. Oh boy. Fetch three of each kind of gem. So, this is kind of a tricky movement. I actually practiced this a little. I did not come into this totally blind. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing a little bit. So yeah, I did play a little bit of this. I didn't play any actual solo levels, but I did train a little. And it's Because sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what this game is asking you to do. Uh... So, here we go. We're going to take that. And it is possible, kind of harrowing, it is kind of possible to take a block out from underneath you and quickly, like, take it back and jump. Now, luckily, you don't incur a lot of fall damage. But, uh, alright, so, let's see. I've got two blocks, so... But we are going to take this one and kind of move on up. Okay. Alright. Uh, so we're going to need one of these back. Alright, there we go. Alright, good. Because you can soft walk yourself out of a level. If you, if you climb up too high and you fall too far to recover your block, you can... You can make an oopsie. Um... So, let's see. So, I need to get this one back. Yeah, that is not the most fun motion I've ever made. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Yeah, see? Oh, there. I just did it. Dog on it. So, to actually back out of a level... You have to actually pause and then I think hold the mouth. Yeah, you hold the right button down. Yep, I got to start fresh and have another. Mission aborted. Why do they say mission aborted? 
This is not... This is not a NASA rover kind of thing. <laughs> I just failed at a lemmings level. Okay, alright. Let's actually go... Alright, so let's go take our block. You gotta be really... You gotta be really quick. You gotta be really quick with the quick. You gotta... You got... You got... Okay, I did not want to rest. I wanted to... Yeah. If you do it very quickly, it's not that bad. Um, can I jump to that? I sure can. Nice. Okay. And I think I can just hop down the rest of these. Yeah, there we go. Alright, good. So yeah. You do have to be quick with that move. But... But it is, it's, it's scary, but it's doable. I hope I don't have to rely on it too much. Uh, I have heard this is a pretty easy game. So luckily, uh, so hopefully it will not factor in too much. But I can see, I can see why this would be an easy game. There's not much you can do in the way of reflex. And you know, that's just another one of the ways that Lemmings kind of reveals its perfectness. You can kind of get a sense of the perfectness of Lemmings by playing games that tried to be like it, but did not achieve its, you know, meteoric, stratospheric level of fame. Like, part of what makes Lemmings so fun is that it's a puzzle game, yeah, but there's a certain amount of reflex action to it as well. Uh, and it seems like it's going to be hard to achieve that with this, with just playing with the Super Nintendo mouse. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of nostalgia around Mario Paint and the Super Nintendo mouse. Remember that hard plastic, uh... Remember that hard plastic mouse pad that it came with? That was... Okay. I used that thing. That, like... Ah, yeah, see? Screwed the pooch. Okay, so this is kind of harrowing, actually. Uh... <laughs> Mission aborted. That's going to make me laugh every time. <laughs> this is not a rocket that's spiraling off the launch pad. I just messed up a block puzzle. Come on. Man, I'm going to have to go through that every time. That's not going to be so fun. Okay, so let's go ahead. Hop up. Boom. Well, that one I can at least recover from. Okay, so... See, if I go up too high, he the, the thing won't register. So, I gotta kinda... I gotta kinda know where I'm going, so... And you gotta be quick on it, too. Um... I think I can actually recover from this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... So, yeah. Asking for very precise movement, like, very early in the game. That's too high to recover from maybe um yeah that's too high to recover from dang it yeah this is not the easiest thing to do ye goshes okay let's play it okay all right asking a lot from the player for a tutorial mission i would say Okay. It's better to just do it fast. Like, it feels better doing it fast. But it, it still is not, like, a perfect system. Getting real Super Metroid wall jump trauma here, actually. <laughs> we could be here a while. Let's not be here. Let's not be here too long. Let's... If I spend too much longer failing, I mean, let's use the... Let's use the magic of editing and just, uh, there we go. All right. Okay, we're doing pretty okay so far, though. No! <laughs> yeah, I had to go and say something, didn't I? I think from here I can 
There we go. I can release them to their... There we go. Let's... Let's take the drop. Whee! Ironically, I have more blocks. I could probably reach those if I wanted to. A lot easier. But there we go. That was not too hard. That did not take too many more attempts. I just had to sit there and be quiet and focus. Hal Jordan willpower. That's quite a lot of fireworks. Are you done yet, game? You're scaring the neighborhood dogs. Okay. That must be all the training levels. We must have done all the training that it has to offer. Did I... I didn't main menu out of that, did I? It didn't seem like I did. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. So I beat all the training levels. So I guess that's a good place to kind of stop. Okay, we are trained. We have our faux handler certificate. There we go. Okay, so next time. Next time. Now that we have our trottling license. They didn't show us any actual trottlers in training mode. What a weird tutorial. That looks like Shuma Gorath in the corner. <laughs>